What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy, Cool Counter Boxing, coming at you with another boxing video I for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. If you have a chance, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. And your boy will appreciate it. And um, let's look at what's going on. Let's look at what's going on, man. So I'm looking and reading, you know, all the publicity about the press conference for Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder round, you know, part three. And, you know, the media... The media is disingenuous. And what I mean by that is, you know, they ignore all the, uh, all the past transgressions of Tyson Fury. You know, the, you know, with him getting busted for PD, he don't have a license in England, right? Um, he evade all these questions. So he's able to talk about that he's had all the belts before. You know, just lie after lie after lie. Um, talking about uh, Deontay Wilder has made all of the excuses. No more delays in the fight, even though they know that Tyson Fury has tried to sidestep this fight with Deontay Wilder. So let's let's look at this, right? So you know Deontay Wilder, he's been training. You know he's been staying away from the mainstream media because every time he says something, they try to turn what he they try to turn it back on him. They try to make it a negative thing, and apparently the media is with Tyson Fury. Now I don't know if just because. He's with a bit ne a bit network like ESPN. You know, you can look at that and say it that way. But why are they not covering? You know, the writers, the boxing writers. Why are they not covering the full picture? Right? Why are they not looking into what's really going on and telling the truth? They be what we see and what we hear. They be lying. two different things. You know. What they we hear lying. is mm -hmm. Tyson Fury uh, beat Deontay Wilder in two fights. So they're creating a superficial fake narrative. Like where, you know, you they're trying to shit on the fight on one hand. And then they're trying to say that, uh, you know, Tyson Fury is, is going to come out and destroy Deontay Wilder. Right? They be lying. So mm -hmm. you see the fear, you know, in in the media and in the in the fans, right? They, you know, it's like they never tell the truth. It's like they they they. It's almost like they be lying. It's almost like they have to have the superficial. They be lying. The superficial uh, propaganda out there, you know. I mean, you know. Tyson Fury has called Deontay Wilder a pussy and just all kind of unnecessary things, right? And they, they try to justify it through calling, saying what happened in the fight is an excuse, even though everybody can clearly see the man gloves wasn't right. They don't want you to pay attention to the facts. They want you to go with the superficial narratives that he's making excuses. And so but if lying. you see somebody, mm -hmm. okay, for an example, they if, you see, if, if somebody mm -hmm. has an unfair fight, let's say one guy, and they bring, you know, a friend, a second guy, you know, they don't fight you straight up. They say it's two on one. But nobody, you know what I'm saying, but, but, but the next day, they say, oh, man, I beat they you. They be lying. You know what I'm saying, I beat you in the fight. But they don't tell you that they brought somebody in to help them Bruh. beat you. So they want everybody to believe that, you know, their story, that they beat you one-on-one -on -one by, them, by themselves, but they ain't going to tell you that, you know, they had help. 
So they just gonna go with that narrative, right? And that's what Tyson Fury does, you know. He knows that Deontay Wilder has a lot of hate. You are a bitch. You know, a lot of hate fans against him. You. So they don't care about telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? They don't want. They don't. They don't care about being real. They be lying. You know, all they mm-hmm. care about is trying to demoralize Deontay Wilder. They're trying to get to his mental uh, psyche, so he, you know, he'll be depressed. You are They're trying to get to him so he can't perform well in the fight. And it's like it's so elementary that I'm just surprised. I am just surprised that this is what they're doing now. You are a right? bitch. This is what you they're doing in boxing. You are a bitch. You so it's almost, it's, it's just like, it's like a childish uh, attack on this man trying to demoralize him I in public, confused. trying to humiliate. I mean, they, you know, and it's, it's, it's sad because they go so far as they go to the I lowest can't. rung to try to disrespect the man. And that's why, that's why, you know, it seems like it's, they try to make it personal with uh, Deontay Wilder, you know, because they, they, they try to do everything they can to throw him off his game. But the thing is, you know, they don't talk about Anthony Joshua trying to throw Dillian White in front of uh, Deontay Wilder every, every time they get free. You know what I'm saying? And look like Deontay Wilder is going to, um, you know, have, have the time to fight Anthony Joshua. They, they, they sidestep him. You know, they stop making plans to sidestep Deontay Wilder. Like, they're already making plans to put Dillian White in action. And it's like no shame in this. It's like they already know that that Anthony Joshua is not going to fight Deontay Wilder. We don't even know. We don't even know if Tyson Fury is going to fight Deontay Wilder. Because the realness of it all is Deontay Wilder is the only real fighter. He's the only one who has defended his uh, championship titles like 10 times. They call, I mean, it's, it's almost like they try to gaslight and they try to flip the script on everything, right? So they call Deontay Wilder the pretender, but really it's Tyson Fury who is the pretender, right? So this is the culture today. You know, the truth don't matter anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you, you don't, it's the, you know, to have a discussion is impossible because people would just lie and deny to the end what the, what reality is. So when you see um, Tyson Fury just spewing lies and um, about who he's going to fight, who he's going to destroy, but on the other hand, he's trying to... He's trying to run away from the fight. Every chance he gets, he's trying to make it excuses. He came up with COVID-19. He came up with, uh, you know, um, you know, being sick and everybody in his camp is sick, you know, and his sparring partners wasn't sick. But nobody talks about that. You see what I'm saying? So... It's like nobody stays on they him about lying. all the inconsistencies mm-hmm. and the lies that he's, they he's uh, presented. Mm-hmm. They, they, they try to just ignore all they that and lying. focus on, on Deontay Wilder to try to keep demoralizing it's him. And okay. they think people don't notice this. You know, they, they're like, you know, okay, well, the, the, whole, the whole campaign is to emotionally and mentally destroy Deontay Wilder and lift up Tyson Fury, right? Because they need the white supremacy in boxing. And, you know, there's a lot of black people who are, who are, um, there's a lot of black people who have co-signed on to the mental slavery of uh, pushing Tyson Fury because it's successful to talk about who the mainstream, you know, wants to win. Like talking about Canelo, you know, that's mainstream. So you, you know, you could probably get ten thousand hits if you talk good about Canelo. You know, you you'll get ten thousand hits if you talk good about Tyson Fury. But if you just keep it real, 
and you don't go with the fake narrative, you know what I'm saying, then you're just going to be, you know, you're just, you're just going to, you know, do everything, right? So there's a lot of people selling out online. There's a lot of people who, there's a lot of people who don't care about integrity. They just want to be you successful are a bitch. by any means necessary. And you see that in the media. You know, that's why they don't talk about uh, Tyson Fury drug history with PEDs and cheating. That's why they ignore the gloves in the <laughs> ring. That's why they ignore the uh, spike drinks. They try to make it seem like it's preposterous. <laughs> well, we look at that boxing right now. Everybody's getting popped. All the, all the little dirty the gloves getting busted. You know, saying people with dirty gloves. All of this stuff is getting exposed. All of this stuff is getting exposed, and nobody's like really saying, "Oh man, you know that it's 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 real. The shit is real." Fuck him. And um, so gaslighting has become the way to debate to debate the truth to get out the truth. You know, when you can have um, Oscar Valdez say. You know, um, I have nothing in my system after popping dirty. Then you know we have a problem. You know, we have a huge problem. If he can say with a straight face after he's got popped that he's a clean fighter. But that's what we have going on in boxing right now. You know, people can do that. They can get away with that because everybody thinks they're a politician, you know. You could just, ooh, you could just lie. You could just, you could just, with a straight face, you know, or just come online and just say something that's just with no truth or substance and, 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 and argue. And argue something that they know is a lie. So now discussion is like, it's out the window. Because now you got people willing to uh, come on here and talk shit and and just lie, right? They be so it, you know mm-hmm. everything that's 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 pure and good. You know people will fuck it up you with lies and uh, propaganda, right? So they can compete, just like in boxing, and people with PEDs they can't compete, so they cheat. And then now we got people supporting the Chiefs. You're saying that you done fucked up now. And that's what they they're hoping for Tyson Fury. (laughs) They're hoping he get on some HGH. They're hoping he find a way to cheat Deontay Wilder because they don't want to see this black man win. They don't want to see a black man with a championship belt. They don't want him nowhere near Anthony Joshua. Even though Anthony Joshua is black. You know, he represents Let's you know, the uh, white British colony. You know, he got Eddie Hearn behind him. They don't look at Anthony Joshua. He's kind of like, um, kind of like they looked at Frazier back in the day. He's kind of like the white man's champion, and they accept that because he's not Deontay Wilder, who is American and from Alabama. So, so he's considered like he's black, black. And Anthony Joshua is kind of like he's white black, you know what I'm saying? And the way he carry himself, you know, he carry himself like a lame, you know what I'm saying? Like he's some kind of, uh, you know, like he's some kind of a uh, cultured rich guy, right? And uh, Deontay Wilder is supposed to be like some kind of country pumpkin who's not rich and who's not sophisticated. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, dynamics going on. In boxing, and we see who the media box backs. We see the lies that they peddle and push against Deontay Wilder, and it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame that that this is what it's come to. And um, you know, but I hope the champ he hangs in there. And um, you know, saying I support him 100%. I know you you support him 100%. And you know, we just go. On you know, we just gonna we already know what's real cause we always keep it real at full kind of boxing. And I know y'all keep it real, you know what I'm saying, my family out there. And um but that's all I got for today and I'll see you guys. Make sure you smash that like button and you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below, man, to tell me what you think about the narratives that's going on against uh, Deontay Wilder about 
the lines they accept for Tyson Fury and uh, Canelo and, you know, just the propaganda and the gaslight that we see going on in boxing today. And uh, leave a comment below about that, man. Tell me how you feel about that, man. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.